Irish men and Irish women, in the name of God and of the dead generations from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood, Ireland through us summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. We're an ancient people who had a civilization of a thousand years and our own laws which were overturned. The two countries started with similar populations. But the British policy has made my country small and kept my country the only one in Europe which is denuded of population. And we have been retained as their servants and their suppliers of soldiers or laborers. The Easter Rising was an insurrection, mostly confined to Dublin city centre, that lasted from April 24th until April 30th, 1916. 1,200 men and women took part, from the Irish Volunteers, Socialist Trade Union Group, the Irish Citizen Army, and the Women's Group, Common Laban. The Rising was planned in secret by seven men, mostly of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, or IRB, who formed a military council. They were Thomas Clark, Sean McDermott, Paulrick Pierce, Thomas McDonough, Joseph Plunkett, James Connolly, and Eamon Kent. They had arranged with Germans a large importation of arms to be delivered on Good Friday, April 21st, but this shipment was discovered by the British off the coast of Kerry and a cargo lost. At the last minute, the plans for the rising were revealed to Owen McNeil, who tried to call off the rebellion by using a countermanding order. This just postponed the outbreak from Easter Sunday to the next day, Easter Monday. The volunteers proclaimed an Irish Republic, with Pierce as President and Connolly as the Commander-in-Chief. The volunteers occupied strategic positions around Dublin, at the General Post Office, known as the GPO, the Four Courts, the South Dublin Union, Boland's Mills, Stevens Green and Jacob's Biscuit Factory. Over the following week the British deployed over 16,000 troops, artillery and a naval gunboat into the city to suppress the rising. In a week's fighting, around 450 people were killed and over 2,000 wounded. The rebels headquarters at the GPO was bombarded into surrender, which Pierce ordered on Friday the 28th of April. There were also risings in County Galway, Enniscorthy and Wexford and Ashbourne in County Mead. But apart from the action in Ashbourne that killed 11 police, this caused little bloodshed. 16 of the rebel leaders were executed, 15 in a two-week period after they surrendered, and one Roger Casement in August. Over 3,000 people were arrested after the rebellion, and over 1,400 imprisoned. The rising was not widely supported amongst the Irish people at first. However, the execution of the rebel leaders, combined with other factors, such as the continued postponement of home rule, the growing casualties in the First World War, and the threat of conscription, helped to increase the strength of public support.